Hi guys, uh, today is maiden day for uh, my Sonic Model Carbon Fibre Race Wing or CF Wing as it's known. So the story behind this is that last November after drinking one evening, um, this was a, a Black Friday impulse buy. Um, it was delivered and I just left it. Uh, and then recently when I've had a bit more time on my hands, I decided to build it. Um, but because it's a carbon fibre open fuselage, I've decided to run it with my DJI FPV system. Um, I have run the DJI FPV system temporarily as a test in my Dart XL, it was great, but this wing should allow a lot of cooling for the, uh, the DJI FPV system. So uh, what I've also done to this wing, just to run you through uh, some of the changes, so um, one of the things that I've done is, you can see these two black sections underneath here, well these are actually uh, 3D printed designs that I produced that actually allow me to house the same connectors that go into a Dart XL, so I had a Dart XL crash fuselage. Uh, and I removed the connectors and I put the, uh, the connectors into this wing and fuselage so that these wings, which are actually detachable with magnets, um, I can do that easily for transportation. Um, the actual connectors themselves do give you a little bit more rigidity in the wing, so hopefully they won't fall off as many people have told me they might. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, in terms of the actual internal components on this plane, uh, I'm going to run it on, um, on 5S, so I'm going to run it on a... Uh, 1.8 Ma uh, Turner G 5S 65C battery um, and that's going to be driving through um, a 50 amp um, um, cloud um, which one is it sorry it's the uh, favorite cloud Phoenix so it's a 50 amp BL32 heli ESC um, I'm running a HDRL GPS on this little mount that I've produced that I've made to hold the GPS and also the uh, the lost uh, lost buzzer finder. I'm running the standard um, crossfire um, antenna. Um, I've actually run that so it runs through the fuselage on this little, um, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I've got a little cable tie here so when it lands it'll just fall back a little bit. Not sure how the signal strength is going to be with the actual antenna running through the carbon of the fuselage, but we'll see. Um, motor wise I'm running from my uh, AR wing, the original motor for the AR wing before I upgraded the AR wing. Sunny Sky 2212-1400kV and I'm, I'm driving uh, a Graupner uh, 6x6 speed prop with that. Um, <coughs> flight controller, uh, Matek F405 wing, uh, running latest INAV 2.4 and of course I'm running the, uh, the FPV, DJI FPV system mounted on the nose, made a, an actual 3D printed mount to hold the antennas in a nice position. Uh, made a camera mount for the front which fix, you know, actually fits beautifully. Um, so hopefully that should keep us a little bit cool. One sec, activity alarm. So um, only other thing I've really done to it, um, apart from the standard, is uh, I've made these skids, um, just to give a bit more protection to these foam um, skids at the bottom. And um, the servos that I'm running are the Emax ES08MD, a Metal Gear digital servos. So normally I launch my AR wing with a side swipe, but on this one I don't want to pull the wings off. Um, I launched my Dart 250G like this, but this one to keep the wings on, because I'm not sure how rigid it'll be, I'm going to try an overhead. Never done one of those before, so it's going to be an experience. It's a little bit windy, um, so we're going to launch it up um, with auto launch and uh, get it loitering, hopefully it'll loiter, um, and then uh, we'll take it from there. So uh, let's give this a try, and uh, I'm really looking forward to flying a wing again with the uh, DJI FPV system, expecting after a few weeks of not doing it that uh, it's going to be pretty like wow, so let's see, uh, let's see how that goes. So I'm always a little bit nervous on a maiden, I've had so many disasters, but let's see how this uh, actually works out. Not successful. Okay, so I'm going to launch the plane. Uh, overhead throw. Everything feeling good. It didn't launch very well. Went to the side. Barely cleared that tree. Then just lost all power at this point. No control over the elevons. No control over the throttle. Everything's still connected. Still recording. So now I'm just at the uh, the whim of where it's going to land. So I'm hoping it's going to land in the field, but. Then of course the wind takes it and uh, it only goes and lands on the top of a bloody tree, doesn't it? Which is uh, really impossible for me to climb. So it's a matter of going back home, getting my uh, my uh, 
my rope and everything to try and retrieve the thing and uh, we'll try again so uh, yeah not such a great maiden but you know these things happen so uh, we'll be back okay so we're back and the plane is well it's it's up there somewhere I can just about see it so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, trusty drone retrieval kit which comprises of a a fishing weight and some power cord and I've got some much thicker power cord so we're going to try and get that over the branch let it fall down and then get some gloves on and pull the uh, the stronger power cord through and then give the branch a jiggle and see if the plane will fall out so uh, I've done this before uh, I could be here for hours but uh, I'm getting that plane back one way or another the power cord going up over the plane over the branch so now it's a matter of just getting hold of both ends putting a pair of these gloves on and uh, jiggling it down it's that easy, hopefully. Beautiful. Okay, we're back after yesterday's uh, maiden disaster where it went into a tree uh, over there. Um, got it back, not much damage, little scratch on the wing here, a uh, little indentation where it hit the branch, but uh, nothing serious. So I went back to diagnose a problem and uh, couldn't really figure out what was causing it. Um, all I can think was that as I launched the plane, I moved one of the sticks and it came out of loiter mode. Not sure why I wasn't able to control it. I uh, spoke to my friend Mark Hoffman and he said maybe there's a loose cable on the GPS and uh, the plane went into emergency landing mode or something like that. But uh, going to give it a go again today. We've tested everything. Everything seemed fine. We've got good thrust. Auto launch seems to work when I test it. So uh, without the prop on. So. Let's give it a try and uh, and see what happens. Okay. Okay, it seems to have launched better. And it is loitering, which is a good sign. Got 15 satellites, 99% on LQ, looking good. Home direction's working well. Longitude and latitude, speed. Wow, the view in these goggles is just, well, it's unreal, unbelievable. So let's take it out of return to home. And uh, we're just gonna fly it for a little bit off the sticks. Wow, the view. Okay, so this is with the six by six prop. So put it into manual mode. See how it's trimmed off the sticks. Now, a lot of pull to the left. Oh, we've crashed. Okay, here it is. There's the fuselage anyway. Well, the carbon is sheared off. Where the hell are the wings? Everything looks okay. So. Thank God for these uh, drone finders, as well as GPS coordinates, brilliant. Okay, so where are the wings? I've played back the DVR on the goggles and seem to go into a spin just by these trees, so 
not sure if the wings came off or really what happened it just went completely out of control so take a little walk up here and have a look in these trees and see if you can see the wings and then we'll uh, see what damage we've got and see what we need to do to try and remedy this problem the wreckage in the field over there let's go and check it out so this was kind of the angle that it came in at so let's have two wings here Oh, well, doesn't even seem to be damaged, so... I guess the wings just, just came off. So... Okay, so it flew okay, and I think the wings came off when I did that dive. When I went into manual mode, so... Uh, I need to find a better way to hold those wings on. Um, I thought it would be okay with those there's wing connectors but uh, obviously not so uh, people did tell me that that would be the case so I should have listened I really, well, sometimes I don't listen because I think I know better but obviously I'm a novice so uh, I'm going to go back now to the drawing board and, but uh, first impressions not too bad it seemed to fly quite nicely uh, when I get it tuned it should be good fun so okay uh, pretty happy that uh, there's no real damage let's go back and uh, see what we can do to keep these wings on the only thing I can really see that's happened is that uh, my GPS and buzzer mount, the uh, soldering on the bottom of the Crossfire Nano has come away. So these wires are all just there. Um, GPS plug and the buzzer plug just pulled out of the, the plug, so that's okay. Uh, wings have got you know, virtually no damage at all because obviously they flew off in midair. And the only thing that's really worried me is the uh, the carbon fiber 10 mil carbon fiber crossbar that goes into the wings has sheared off so it did have a little crack in it from yesterday's crash but i thought it'd be okay obviously not so i guess with the force of that uh, that dive this snapped one wing came off then the other wing came off and then the fuselage just spun to the ground so yeah it's a a pretty tough thing so the fuselage obviously being carbon has uh, no damage at all the wings are okay so i think i got away pretty luckily here so uh yeah let's uh get a new carbon crossbar figure a way to hold those wings on tightly and then we'll be good to go again maiden three